Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm very excited to show you the, uh, the new Jaguar CX-75 from Almost Real. So this is a 118 scale die cast with full opening part. Now when I say by full opening part, you have the uh, two doors, engine bay and the, uh, the rear spoiler. And that trunk doesn't open unfortunately, but I'm not worried too much about it. So this is actually the reason why I'm excited is that first of all, it's a very beautiful model, a very beautiful car in real life. It's a concept car from Jaguar, and I'm not sure they will ever make it into real life production. Uh, I hope that they do one day because it's a really absolutely beautiful model. And also, I love concept cars, and I don't have a lot of concept cars. The only concept car I have is the Cadillac Escalade, and then this one. So, this is the only two concept cars I have in my collection. So, I know that the Nora have to a couple of BMW. Um, but they're, they're hard to get around in the UK, so unless you import it directly from France, um, yeah, and then you have to pay tax and all the stuff as well. So it will be expensive, you know. So, but anyway, speaking of expensive, this is uh, I think I paid for about two hundred, uh, less than US dollar, two hundred dollar actually, plus the shipping. So, and even then, it's still less than two hundred dollar. So, which I think is not a bad, you know, price at all. And uh, I got it from a small end motor car. Uh, of course, they have this Firebird uh, orange color, and they also have the uh, blue color, which I think they will come later on. And then uh, you got this nice, lovely Jaguar uh, box here, as you can see here. This is nice and shiny, glossy Jaguar box. Looks like a proper, you know, premium collectible item with all the uh, stuff on it. And you got the certificate in the back inside that as well. So this is gonna tell you that this is authentic. authentic Decayed body Jaguar, so there we are. Uh, excuse my voice, guys. Uh, I have a cold, <laughs> so my voice is a bit weird today, and also the past week, so unfortunately. But anyway, so let's get started with the car. So this is really cool, and uh, this is actually featured in the James Bond, the third movie called Skyfall, I think. This is where the David uh, Buscetta, I think that's the actor name, the one that played Drake's in the uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. And uh, he's a bad guy. He chased Daniel Craig in Italy in the James Bond movie um, in his uh, Aston Martin DV11 uh, with this one, actually. That was really cool car chasing. But anyway, this is actually looks like exactly like in the movie because the color is exactly the same. And then uh, let's look at it. Start from the model here. So this is, you know, I, I'm absolutely blown away by this. But uh, I couldn't wait to get this one in my hand. So that was really exciting. And uh, the headlight detail is amazing. That all the laser LED light here is also beautiful. You know, all the grills here is from almost really is absolutely stunning. And on top of that, you got that Jaguar logo is also glossy and shiny. This is actually a uh, separate piece that stick to it. And the grills are really nice and you can see the radiator in the background but I'm not sure you can see it clearly on the uh, camera and you gotta see it in person for the justice really I mean it's absolutely beautiful all the grills are see-through here uh, which is very nice unfortunately the front part doesn't open um, maybe it would be nice to have this part open as well but then again you know this is a concept model so I'm not gonna complain anything. Uh, carbon fiber effects are not glossy as the LCD. I wish that they are a little bit more glossier, uh, but unfortunately this is not too shiny, but I'm not worried too much about it. And the front wheel has a suspension. You got nice brake disc and caliper. The brake disc is really glossy. I think it's a metal part. And also the Jaguar logo here is really nice and shiny as well. The wheels are very, very nice and you have a nice uh, steering wheel as well that links into the uh, steering wheel inside and then you've got all the uh, see-through mesh here as well again and then you've got another one inside here on the air intake and uh, underneath that there is nothing here right it's nothing to see and then you've got the uh, rear wheel and unfortunately it doesn't have the suspension on the back which is surprising they, they put it on the front but not the back I don't know why you know they should have put it on the back as well and so let's look at the back here so the back is really nice uh, all the nice led here and then you got all the see-through mesh again i can actually see the ground with this um not sure you can see on the camera but yeah you can see it my hands 
in a certain angle so this one is actually see-through mesh again it's not seal plastic so this is really good not like you are going mesh though and then you got a nice exhaust pipe here and uh, what I really like is a Jaguar logo here which is glossy and then this spoiler can lift up so you can lift up like this okay and then you can pull this up even more to the second stage I have to be careful not to break this because this is very delicate by the way and then you can actually have it like this or you can actually like this as well so you can see the uh, how the adjustment can be made so that is very very nice i love this spoiler um, the air brake or whatever people call it and then on the other side obviously yeah so it's the same as the other side on top of that it looks really nice here okay so and then you got the engine bay so you want to look at the engine bay first and i'll show you the interior so here we are and then you can see the uh, all the mesh like i said they are all see through uh, you can see my fingers behind the grills and then you can see the engine is quite decent as well uh, obviously not much to see here other than everything covered in plastic so <laughs> Um, that's a shame, but the, uh, you got all the oil and all the stuff there. There's a mirrors there And uh, you got this metal stick which you can actually pull this up to support it like a La Ferrari uh, from the Buago so Yeah, you can keep this one open on the uh, you know engine part the whole time if you want to but uh, yeah The paint job is really good. This is nice metallic uh, I want to see this in blue color as well and see what it's gonna looks like right. Let's look at the interior now interior is obviously carpeted and there's a seat belt there and the plastic and material looks quite nice and the steering wheels and everything looks okay as well so if I actually zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see what it looks like the center console, the sat nav, um, all the dials and everything is really nice so unfortunately it's all black right so it would be nice if they had lighter color I always prefer the lighter color interior so that you can see more and looks a bit Porsche um, but you know that's how it is and also on the door sadly there is no other color other than just all black <laughs> I don't know why they don't do the colors on the door that would be nice to have a silver part at least a silver part I would say and you got struck style on the uh, door hinges and stuff like that so it looks like a real model you know real car and the interior is not bad, it's just that uh, all too black, so it's a door panel. And you got a little magnet part here, so we can actually uh, pin it easily, so you don't have to worry about it if I touch it nice and soft. So, all right, so it's really cool. On the other side, so again, it's really not bad at all. So let me have a little zoom in. And there we are. So you may have seen this one on the preview, a short video with the music as well. So now you are seeing it in person, in, you know, close up so there we are right so I hope that uh, this is helpful and I d definitely recommend this model and this one is roughly about in terms of weight is about um, I would say about 800 grand maybe a bit less right so it's not heavy as the uh, some other model car but nevertheless I'm absolutely loving this car and uh, so on the front it looks really good I mean this is <laughs> absolutely spot on you know so well done almost real so thank you for making this model car so yeah and also one more thing i want to show you this dashboard the dashboard is you got the uh, some kind of like a uh, carpeted style on one side and the other half is all plain smooth surface so that is something new you know so you got two different tone of uh, driver side and passenger side so that is something that i just realized as well Anyway, so th thanks for watching and I'll see you in a...